Hello, everybody. It is three minutes to seven. I know it's a little bit early, but I don't know if you guys know how nervous and I am about this. I'm super nervous. But um, the Keto Fathead Pizza Party and Adult Beverage video is now here. And I'm just gonna wait a bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with the phone for a minute because I just wanna see how everything's gonna work out. First of all, I've got this thing here that you can oh, I can make it fun. I wish they had something like ta-da! Oh, that's so cool. My husband hates it when I do that. But I was wondering if they had something festive. Oh, that doesn't work. Ah, that works. It's Christmas. I thought about wearing a hat, but I decided. No, I'm not going to, but I'm going to give it a few minutes. I'm super happy to get this thing going. Are you guys hungry tonight? Um, I am. Well, I'm hungry and I'm nervous, so I don't know if that's a good combination. Maybe I need a drink because we're going to do some adult beverages tonight, too. So I've got that going. I see two people are here. Um... I think I could leave that like that. No, I did that, and now I'm going to do that. Okay, so it's going. Two people here. So tonight I have decided to do two pizzas, and I'm going to do the uh, chicken alfredo with spinach and mushrooms and red pepper flakes, um, and I'm also going to do uh, my version of pepperoni pizza. The only thing different on my version is that I don't like the marinara sauce on there or the red sauce. Um, it's too saucy. And I'm too sassy for saucy. <laughs> so, here we go. I did something for y'all, okay? I made one crust. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. Okay. Hi, Debbie. How are you? From Akron, Ohio. Are y'all getting a lot of snow up there? My friend who lives in Michigan says she's getting snow up there, and, and they're loving it. We, we're we just getting rain today. So, anyways, I'm getting ready to start out, and this is the way I thought I'd do this. Um, Y'all can ask questions. I'll try to keep up with it and answer as we go along. Um, I decided to make one crust. That way I could kind of do toppings and get it in the oven, and then I'll make the second crust with y'all watching so you can see exactly how it works and how you can do this yourself, because it's super, super easy. And uh, and then we'll go there. Hi, Trish and Jill. 75 degrees in Houston today. Oh my God, it was almost 80 degrees here yesterday. I'm so happy that the cold front moved in. Ah, you do just not, I had to go outside before I started this because I thought I was gonna have a hot flash. <laughs> Um, you know, I've never tried to freeze a pizza. I bet it would. I don't see why it wouldn't because the main ingredients are cheese and almond flour. And I make uh, keto pancakes and the recipe that I use makes a good amount of them. So I make a couple for breakfast and then I put the rest in a freezer baggie. They freeze fine. So I would imagine you could freeze this pizza. Um, Minneapolis, hello. Let's see. Um, I, you have a question mark? Oh, okay, good. I answered that question for you. So if you like, we can get started. Um, do you guys want to start with the drink? I do. Um, we are going to talk about adult beverages a little bit because, you know, you're going out for dinner or you're going to have your once a week keto cheat, you know, make it fun. You know, all week long, you're being good, you're eating your eggs, you're eating your spinach, you're eating your bulletproof, drinking your bulletproof coffee, watching those macros, doing everything right, but then, you know, Friday rolls around, or Saturday, and it's either time for a movie night, and pizza, and maybe a few beers and friends, or maybe you're going out to a restaurant. I say have a good keto cheat day, and just keep it keto. So, um... I was going to talk about drinks. I've got several to choose from, and I'm going to bring them to you because you do not know how hard this was to find some way to mount a phone and be hands-free. Um, I have my favorites. Here we go. Um, I think I can turn this a little bit. Yeah, okay. I can just kind of slide back here. Um, I've got 
got this set to go. I want to I want to show y'all something, okay? This is just cupcake uh, red velvet. It's a dry wine. It's a red wine blend. Yes to the drinks, Debbie. Woohoo! Um, do y'all notice that this looks like a, a person? I think it's a female, and I think that when women have um, wine, it's like doing the happy dance, and and even your wine opener is just like, yay! It's wine thirty. Woohoo! That's just, that's my fun. That's, I, I imagine that happening all the time. So, anyway, little red wine. Ta-da! And sparkling water. Did you know you can have a glass of wine? I think there's like only three carbs in a five-ounce serving, uh, serving of wine. Maybe four. But, if you do it this way, hold one second. Get your little wine glass. I like this one. I saw it today at the Dollar Tree. It was so cute. It says, food is good, wine is better. Yes. I was like, oh, that glass belongs to me, and it's only a dollar. So, for those of you who love to drink wine, a little splash. That's not even, you know, maybe an ounce and a half, two ounces of wine. Probably about two ounces, okay? And then take your favorite sparkling water. Me, I love the Dasani Berry water. And you just make a big glass out of it. Now you're doing two things. One carbon champagne. Happy New Year to me. Oh my gosh, it's going to be awesome. So now you've got this wonderful wine, and try different flavors. I like the cranberry in it. I actually like the berry. I like the black cherry. Um, I'm a, I like red wine, but you can also have white wine, so long as they're dry or not sweet, no Moscato or Pinot Grigio or anything like that. Find your favorite. Add some ice if you like, especially white wines because you like them chilled, and have a sip. That's pretty darn tasty. So now I have a drink, but I actually had my other cup set up too. All right, you guys want to do some pizza here? What do we start with? Pepperoni or chicken first? Which one do y'all want to do? Type whichever one you guys want first. Pizza, which, which, which is the favorite? We're going to do a pepperoni and jalapeno, and we're going to do a chicken alfredo. What sounds good? Hello? I don't know if we're frozen or we're going to go. Let's just do the pepperoni first, okay? It's easy. Now, I've got my crust made. I want to show you guys this. I just want to show you texture, okay? Let me tilt this down a little bit. This is the top. It's all browned, okay? Even the bottom of it is lovely, okay? And I want to see. Mm, it's got that that crust that you need. Now, before I even top this and make any kind of pizza, oh, Debbie girl, you need to find you some. Uh, Dasani makes wonderful flavored sparkling waters. So does LaCroix. Um, Perrier does it, but I mean, unless you like to spend extra money on something, you don't have to. But even like Aldi's, uh, they have their own brands of flavored sparkling waters. They're awesome. Hi, Jody. Glad you could show up tonight. Alexis, chicken, all right. So anyways, but, but before I, we make the pizza, I want to tell you something about this crust. This is great for doing pizza, but you can also use this crust and make it into smaller portions. You can make it into personal pizzas. I bet you, you could probably get, well, I would say two personal pizzas out of this. But if you break this up into six portions, you could get six tortillas and have wonderful tacos. There's, there, there, that's all you need to say because my favorite food in the whole wide world is tacos. So you just can't eat as many because these are so darn filling, you know, you don't overeat them, so it's wonderful. Um, the other thing that I like to do with these, if I make it into four, is just, and I do put those in the fridge, um, wraps. Throw some spinach and some 
chicken or tuna or whatever your favorite wrap is, turkey, bacon, avocado, make it an Albuquerque turkey, you know, you can make wraps, tacos, all from the same recipe. So, all right, guys, we are going to do some chicken, okay? Um, and then I'm going to pop it in and it... Viva la tacos! <laughs> Thanks, Jody. Okay, so I bought easy peasy. Um, some Bertolli's. I got the garlic Alfredo. And I've got my measuring cup here. And I think I'm going to do like a... I'm going to try... I'm going to try a half cup, but I don't even know if that, that's going to be like too much because I don't want it super saucy. Okay, so I'm only going halfway because I can't take it. So a quarter cup and a serving is a quarter cup and the total carb on the Bertoli is two. So this quarter cup of Bertoli's only has two carbs, y'all. Isn't that something? Now take that two carbs and spread it over this whole pizza. <laughs> you can't beat that. That's awesome. That's one reason why white sauce is better than red sauce, in my opinion. Now I'm going to take a spoon. Let me tilt this around here so maybe y'all can see what I'm doing here. Um, and I'm just going to spread this out. I mean, you guys can sauce it up any way you want to, okay? Um, I, just, I just don't like a lot of sauce on my pizzas. Hey, Kasha. Hi. Where are you at? Where do you live? So I'm going to just go almost to the edges. You know, this, this is one of those forgiving recipes. You don't have to really worry about, you know, perfection here. So I've got sauce on. Get off. And I cut some stuff up. I made some toppings up for both of my pizzas that we're going to do tonight. Look, I've got spinach. I've got sliced mushrooms. I've got chicken. Um, I've got some. I got some seasoning over here. I'll tell you about that in just a second. So what we're gonna do is, I took the. I went and bought a rotisserie chicken. Again, easy. I took the thigh meat, a little bit of breast meat, and just shredded it. I kind of like a rustic pizza. So, Alabama roll tide. <laughs> Okay, Latasha, so excited. Oh, hoo -hoo. thank you for joining. Hi, Danielle. That's my daughter, Danielle. Everybody say hi, Danielle. Okay, so we have some um, chicken that I took and shredded off of a store-bought rotisserie chicken. And we're just going to put it all over it. And Again, put as much as you like on it. It's your pizza. Here, I'll flip that around there. Um, I like it so that, you know, you're going to get a bite or so. I don't want it just like heavy with meat because face it, keto pizza is so filling, filling, filling. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet. Okay, here we go. So next I'm going to do some mushrooms and I, I like them thin too because I think that they, they cook a little better in the oven and you just pop them on there. So is everybody ready for Christmas? Got your got your shopping all done and out of the way. There we go. And now some spinach. Now, I bought baby spinach, but to me these babies are pretty big. So I'm gonna just tear them a little bit so that eh, it bite size. I don't want a big, you know, going on there. And then I'm just gonna spread it around. You know what? I haven't added yet. And this thing already looks so beautiful. I'm telling you. Okay, here's some seasonings. I like a little extra basil. So I'll just kind of give it a little shot of that. And I got a little garlic powder just to just to give it a kick. And red pepper flakes. I like that little bite of spice too. I think it's really, really good. So I just give it a shake. And now I'm gonna reach over here and I'm going to, big bag of mozzarella cheese. You can't live without it. And I'm just gonna, 
sprinkle some mozzarella cheese over the top. I'll tell you guys what I did. I was getting prepped for this tonight and getting everything ready. And I was I was thinking, oh my gosh, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. So I grabbed my cutting board. I grabbed a bunch of ingredients. <clears throat> set it on the stove. Because of course I had to clean the kitchen because I hadn't cleaned the kitchen prior. And I preheated the oven and I looked over and I was like, oh my God, my cheese is gonna melt. <laughs> I'm gonna add some more red pepper flakes because yeah, you can get me on the spicy. I'm a little extra on that. So I want you guys to see this. Can you see how lovely that looks? Let me tilt it a little bit here. That is just beautiful. Okay. Now the oven is already preheated to 425 degrees. And I'm going to pop this in the oven, and then while I do that, I can actually start making the next crust and explain the steps to you. I'll be back in a second. <sighs> Did you miss me? <laughs> I, need a, I, need a, I need a drink of wine. I feel like I'm on the, one of those auditions for the next... Uh, food Network star or something like that. I'm like, it's just funny to me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, hi, Hannah. Love my tree. Thank you. I called that my Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Reason being, um, I have a gigantic, huge pre-lit tree that, you know, is almost the size of a refrigerator box and it's just too big for this place so last year I went and bought this tiny little tree and it literally I put it together with fingers and I thought there's no way this poor baby I I couldn't put all my ornaments on it but I was like wow it filled in it reminds me of the Charlie Brown Christmas tree it looks really scraggly till you throw everything on it and call it good okay cheers what's everybody else drinking tonight what are y'all doing Tell me, tell me. Is anybody else making pizza at the same time tonight? Did anybody? I had some people ask me uh, for a list of ingredients because they wanted to cook along. So um, if you are, tell me how, is it, how it's going for you. Well, I guess you're not doing it yet because, damn it, I haven't started the damn crust yet. Okay, let's do that. Big Red Bull. It doesn't really need to be that big. I just like this bowl for the microwave, so. Here we go. You had tacos? Girl after my own heart. Coconut oasis water. Ooh, what is that? Tell me, Jody. Okay. Um, and Hannah is, yes, you are. Cool, all right. So, this is one and three quarter cups mozzarella cheese. And I'm just going to dump it in the bowl. And then I pre-measured three quarters of a cup of super fine uh, almond flour. I dumped that right on top of that. Um, next, I have two, tables, two tablespoons of cream cheese that I just dumped out on the counter. There it goes. Okay. And... one egg now here's the thing when and I had posted the recipe just as the lady who or whoever invented that recipe thank you so much but they, their steps are I didn't like their steps as well okay um, I've got all of this in here now I'm gonna go ahead and just add some Italian seasoning to it and it's up to you there's no limit if you don't want Italian seasoning in your dough don't put it in there but if you want some add some um, if you're making it in for tortillas if you're gonna make this recipe and use it for tortillas obviously you don't want to use Italian seasoning um, again with a little bit of the garlic powder and a little bit of basil so what we have is I'll show you what it looks like in the bowl that's that's what we've got okay now what I do is I'm gonna just I'm gonna put it right here I take my hand and I just squish it I just I just stir it around because 
it incorporates. I want that cream cheese to kind of get squished through. It's sort of like, here, I'll tilt this up. It's sort of like when you're making a meatloaf. You, you can't just use a spoon. I mean, they do that on TV shows or whatnot, but it just doesn't work for me. So I like to just kind of squish it around and smush it and get all the cheeses, the almond flour, the egg, and the cream cheese particularly kind of mixed in. Now let me show you real quick here. I know I'm just talking and I'll try to read what y'all are saying if you're commenting in a second. So, look. I've got a ball and it pretty much I mean it kind of cleans up so there we go it's a ball of raw dough now what I'm gonna do is pop it in the microwave for one minute that's gonna melt the cheeses a little bit and allow us to work with the dough just a little bit more okay so rinse my hands real quick grab this towel right here and I'm going to walk over the microwave for a few seconds. Be right back. So on my way back, I found my beautiful glass that I had already ready. See, I have different glasses for different alcohols. Mmm, sparkling ice coconut flavor. Yummy. <laughs> Debbie, I got you. Look, I, I'm telling you all right now, I said it in my the first night I did a video. I am not keto right now. I'm, I'm doing a process. I've got to go to a doctor next week on Thursday. Um, second part of my step. But I don't care what they say. Come hell or high water, I'm going back to keto come the first. So, uh, Kim, thank you. You're so sweet. Hi, Marilyn. Where are you from? So, I want to show you real quick here, while that's nuking for one minute. Vodka. That's my favorite liquor. I love it. And I like it in a big glass. And I like having cute straws. Oop. Minutes up. So... I love the vodka. I love mixing it with, again, sparkling flavored waters. Um, I've got a few over here, and I also have Mio water. So, um, if you put one serving of alcohol in that big tall glass, and then pour your sparkling water, and then maybe flavor it with some of the Mio water, you're zero carb all the way. You just have to remember that your your when you're on keto your tolerance is lower because your liver doesn't have a buildup of something called glycogens and that it and when it doesn't have that 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 liver starts processing that alcohol right away so you feel it right away so you know having some drinks uh occasionally i, I like to i like to, once a week man I, I like to have some drinks and then um You'll be okay, but if it's a nightly thing, it can stall you if, or if you're using sugary mixers. So, all right, you guys, I just, I gave this a turn in the bowl with my spoon. It was pretty well mixed when I put it in there, but now you can kind of see, and it's a little hot, but you, it's just a, look, like that, okay? So, what I'm going to do now is check the other pizza because it's like a bobbly. It doesn't take long. Hold up. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can tilt this. What, what say you folks? Thumbs up for Alfredo chicken pizza? I think it looks wonderful. My my edges are all golden. My cheese is melted. It smells hot and bubbly. Yay! One pizza down. We had it. We did it, didn't we? That's great. Okay. So first pizza was a total success. 
Um, I'm going to give it a second to cool, and then we'll put the old handy-dandy pizza cutter on it, okay? <sighs> oh, thumbs up. Yay! All right, so second pizza, what we're going to do is we've got this dough, and I'll tell you, if you've never done it before, it's sticky because it's all melted cheese. Big old blob of it. <clears throat> Just drop it on the pan. Now, you don't have to use a pizza pan. Um, I just bought these at the dollar store and I thought, oh, how cute are those? <laughs> I got to tell you all a story real quick, okay? Um, last year, was it last year, we had a tornado come through and it, the only building that damaged was our Dollar Tree and the sports store because they were connected. So they just opened it up and oh my God, y'all, I'm so happy. I stopped in there today and I was like, ah, I've got so much cute stuff. So on the pizza dough here, the trick is turn on your water, get your hands wet, shake off the excess, okay? Just shake it off, leave your hands wet, and then I'm going to just start patting this dough out, okay? Can you all see? Can you see what I'm doing or does it have gingerbreads on it? Can you, can you see me working? Let me know. Oh, this little knife is in the way. So anyway, yeah, you just, you don't have to roll this out or anything. It's just kind of hands-on. You can't see it? Hmm, I want you to be able to. Okay, I'll get rid of that. I don't want that to be there. I thought the gingerbread was cute, but it, it can go away. There. Oh, you guys... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, here we go. So let me tilt this around and I, you can see me working a little better now. All right. So like I said, you just press this out in your pan. I cut out some parchment paper. Um, it's up to you how big you want it to be. I'm going for the whole thing here because I like thin and crispy pizzas. Um, I'm not into pan or hand tossed. I've my pan, my family is a pizza family. I'm, I'm a semi pizza family. I would have to say I love keto pizza. I love keto pizza, but I'm not a huge fan of traditional, everyday pizza. It doesn't set well with me. It, it hurts me. It's too heavy. It makes me feel nauseous. And even though this is high fat, I'm telling you, it's 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 delicious. Okay, guys. So I patted this out, see? I just I just patted it all out. That's all I had to do. Then you take a fork and you just dock it. You you just lots and lots of punctures because the egg and the cheese will make bubbles. And we don't want big bubbles. So just dock it, dock it, dock it. You can look in the oven. Now, here's the thing. Because I put all of that in the microwave, it really doesn't need 10 minutes. I think about 8 minutes in the oven. Just until it's brown on top, then you can pull it out and top it. Okay, so voila. In the oven it goes. Ta-da! So now we have... Our second crust in the oven and I'm gonna pull this pizza down here and let's see I even bought a pizza cutter which I always use a knife but we'll see here I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and and I want to be able to lift it up Oh, earlier somebody had, I had posted the recipe and somebody had asked me, they said they had made this pizza and they used foil instead of parchment paper, it stuck. I've never tried it with foil. I would just recommend if you don't have parchment paper and you're using foil or a pan, grease it really well or else the cheese will stick. Common sense. But here we go, let's see here guys. And we have pizza. <laughs> have to try a bite, right? 
I bet my daughter Danielle wishes she was here right now. This is her favorite. She's like, oh, mom, I love that pizza. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, this is great. I mean, we have great pizza. Now, we do have a few minutes here waiting for this crust to cook, and then we'll top it. Um, anybody have any questions for me? Any suggestions? If you if you get in anything out of this that you really like about this video, just give me a thumbs up. Say, yeah, this is we want more of this. Just give me a thumbs up emoji. I appreciate it. <sighs> oh, I guess I could just bring liquors over. Thank you. Thank you. So I like themed drinks. Um, I don't want to move my phone because putting it back on this, it's it's wrapped around my kitchen faucet. <laughs> I was like, how am I gonna, how am I going to be able to do a video and use my hands at the same time? Um, hi Joyce, glad you joined us. So now look at here, zero carbs. You like my glass? My daughter, my daughter Danielle bought me these. I love anything kitchen and anything vintage. But me personally, every now and then, I just want some ice and a splash of this and sip it. Zero carbs. Now you can add diet seven up, you guys. You can add. You can use diet sodas. Um, I drink diet coke. It's just I think what comes into play when you're having a drink. Whether it be a, an alcoholic drink or you're just drinking sodas. If it keeps you from losing weight, then you have to modify it. Either by cutting back or elimination. Um, I didn't seem to have a problem with my Diet Cokes um, while I was doing keto. I, and I think one of the reasons why is because I didn't, I don't, you know, I don't drink them on the daily. You know, I buy a six pack of 16 ounces and between me and my youngest daughter, it lasts a week because we drink like that much with a meal and then done, don't sit around drinking them. So keep that in mind. So if you're wanting to drink a Crown and Coke, Diet Coke, or a, a 7 and 7, or um, vodka, uh, Sprite Zero, with a splash of Diet Cranberry so uh, from the, what is that? Ocean Spray makes diet cranberry juice go for it just enjoy it your fave yes cheers so I've got like I said I like the crown and beer and pizza beer and pizza do I count calories no no. If I feel like um, maybe I'm, I'm stalling a little bit, then I'll start paying attention. And I do have an app. I've got a couple, but um, uh, Carb Manager, uh, I like. It's free. You can pay for an upgrade, just like you can pay for an upgrade with uh, my fitness pal. But really, it's not necessary. Um, that one's really good at tracking carbs. I, I like it. Let me tell you something about me. Um, I'm competitive, even with myself, to the point that, say, on my macros, I, I, I do my macros. I'm supposed to have like 75 grams of protein and 103 grams of fat, and keeping my carbs, of course, uh, below 25. If I go over on my protein by one, I'm undone. I get anxious. It freaks me out. I'm a failure. Oh my God. I just, I, just, I just don't like the headache and the anxiety of that. You know, if you're, if you're eating, I don't count the calories. I don't count the fat. I just know eat fat, eat protein, eat, eat a little bit of carbs. And if my weight starts stalling, then I'll pay attention to what I'm doing. Kim. Hi, Melissa. Hi, baby. That's my daughter, Melissa. I have four daughters, by the way. <laughs> um, Kim, I didn't get to see what your really great news. I'm not sure. I'm glad. I, I hope I gave you some good news. Oop, I got to check that pizza crust. I get to talking. 
Oh, steamy, steamy. Ah, it's got a few minutes. It's all good. So, um, even these, uh, 2.6 carbs, net carbs. So, everybody say hi to Melissa. Thank you, Jody. Melissa's my daughter. I think my husband, Celix, was on here watching, too. He's, he's out of town right now, but he's like, I want to watch my wife do this. So, yeah, have a beer. Have a slice of pizza. I, how do y'all's days go? I mean, what's a no typical day for you? When I'm on keto, my typical day is, um, you have four daughters? Woohoo, they rock. And they, and they, <laughs> and, and, and they can drive you crazy too. Um, back to what I was saying. My typical day on keto is eggs, bacon, avocado, and some sort of little vegetable or a handful of berries. Um, that keeps me so full for so long that usually somewhere, oh, I don't know, I eat around 9 or 10, so maybe around 2.30, 3 o'clock, I start getting a little hungry. At that point, you know, I'll do some chicken salad or I'll have a wrap or something like that, or I'll have a cup of bone broth and I'll drink that and I'm good. And then turn around at supper and have either tacos or something. I mean, so it's kind of like two meals with a little bit. It's easy. Yes, I do eat nuts. Um, I like I like almonds and um, I like pecans and I like walnuts. They're really good. And occasionally I do eat macadamia nuts too, but they're just a little pricey for me. Let's see. All right, I think I'm going to check on that pizza crust again. Oh, 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 it's so beautiful, y'all. Perfect in every way. Get all this alcohol out of the way. See, here we go. We've got another wonderful, beautiful pizza crust, and it's all nice and hot. Now, this one this is the one I told you. I'm going to do a pepperoni, but for me personally, I don't care for the pizza sauce. You know, and you could take this. And just cut it into strips and do it like a cheesy bread or breadsticks and dip it in marinara if you like. I would prefer to dip. I'm a dipper. Uh, <laughs> I sounded like a New Yorker, didn't I? I'm a dipper. Dip those dang pizza sticks. All right. So here we go. For me, it's just going to be uh, cheese, a little bit of basil, um, some pepperoni, and some jalapenos because i got to have my jalapenos. So again, I don't, I don't measure the toppings. I measure everything when I'm baking the crust because that's important. So as much cheese as you like on here. Um, I feel like I'm flying cheese here. And yeah, I probably did about a cup and a half of cheese. If I was to eyeball it and guess it, that's what I would say, about a cup and a half of cheese. So there we go, got the cheese on there. Now the pepperoni, get the full fat. All that extra fat counts. Now, I'm all about healthy fat, but if you're going to make pizza, you might as well make ding pizza, right? And get it going to your preference. My kids oh, and my mother, they like pineapple. See, I, we can't have it on keto, and I'm like, I cannot stand pineapple in pizza. It's weird. I know. Everybody's like, what? I'm like, yeah, what? All right, here we go. Um, jalapenos. I should use a fork because, you know, hands and all. Don't want to accidentally rub my eye the wrong way and get jalapeno juice all up in there. And I'm just going to pop these on. Oh, you know what would be good, guys? Um, if you were making this, you could do this as a, a taco pizza or something. I mean... Do whatever you want. Get creative. But, yeah, you could do that. Shoot. You could use cheddar cheeses. You could use ground beef. You could top it with all the toppings. You know, sour cream, guacamole. You can make it into a big old Mexican fiesta. I'm all about the Mexican food, y'all. I just, I felt the need to sprinkle some more cheese. 
so there we go and into the oven it goes Whew. where'd that glass of wine go all right ooh cheeseburger pizza Kim you can eat the whole pizza but I bet you can't <laughs> Hi, Hannah. Um, the first time that I made this pizza, my sister-in-law was over. We came over and I was like, I'm going to try this recipe out. And I made the chicken alfredo. Um, we sat there. We each got a Diet Coke and we, it comes, you cut it into six slices. So she ate half and I ate half. And I was, we were so miserable, so miserable. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the, the fat content from the almond flour and the cheese, but honestly, give it your best shot. Jody Ortega, your Swedish, not Mexican husband. I haven't heard the Swedish Ortega. Uh, let's see, Melissa. Yep, she agrees with me. You can't eat it all. Uh, yes, basil. I bought basil at uh, Sam's Club. I buy the big container of basil. Um, I like in season, like when it's springtime, summertime, using it fresh to tear up into salads and things like that. But All right, so I'm going to take a sip of this wine here while we wait on this pizza. And does anybody have? Celix, my baby, honey, if you were here, you could be eating all this pizza yourself. <laughs> and he he wouldn't gain an ounce either. He can eat anything. Brazilian soccer player, American. Ah, how interesting. That's really cool. So, anybody have any ideas for what uh, maybe the next one should be? Now, I, I am thinking about doing some um, one on bone broth because I keep getting a lot of requests for that. Uh, Kim, I do not have an answer. I know that there are a lot of books um, about starting keto. Um, personally, I am an internet junkie. I read constantly uh, Dr. Axe, uh, Dr. Finney, um, any of those things. You can get a lot of information and they have their own pages and they even have their own YouTube channels. So if you're interested, um, they are renowned keto doctors and you could follow along. That's, that's what I opted. I just don't buy the books. We should totally do a family meal prep video for those of us with young kiddos. We can do that. That would be easy. How did I start? How did I start keto? Well, it, it, uh, I'll, I'll condense that. Um, of course, my weight was unacceptable. Um, I had tried Atkins like seven years prior, and I had some success with it. But every time I tried to restart it, I, I just couldn't stick with it at all. I, I'd fall off because you know, you're you're low carb, but you you still you still eat some certain things. And someone some along the way said ketogenic in one of the groups that I was in for low carb, and it, it, it kind of piqued my interest. So that's how I found out about it. And then I read about it and I realized, you know, I was also having a lot of issues. Oop, got to check that darn pizza. Oh, I'm going to give it a minute. But I, I had also started having a lot of issues with uh, my digestive system. I wasn't eating gluten good or bread. I don't know what it was, but I was just getting sick. So for me, keto was elimination of everything. And I just jumped in, I dove right in, and I had great success with it. And like I said in my first video Monday night, it's very easy to think that you are uh, under control and you got it and you're losing weight, you're doing great, and then you go ahead and think you can have a, a cheeseburger or a donut or something. And find out that you're an addict, you're a carb addict, and lose it totally over one slip up. So, anywho, that's how I started. Um, there's lots of great cookbooks out there, too. Um, I don't know if you guys have Kindles or whatever, but you can even get some free ones on Kindle. Pinterest is the the place to be for me. Um, if I, I have a Pinterest page um, that has got tons and tons and tons of um, keto recipes 
It's called uh, the Low Carb Zone, Keto Zone. And so I, I get a lot of my ideas there. And I, you can get ideas and then you can tweak them. You can make everything fit for what you need. Oh. Now, I could let this brown a little bit more, but I don't know if I want to because my crust, I love how golden it is. But let me show you guys. I'm sure that I could put that under the broiler for just a titch if I wanted just to get that nice golden on top. But because this is a, a mostly cheese-based crust, I just don't want to go overboard on it. But I'm going to call that done. Mmm, what do you think? Everybody liking it? I can turn this oven off. You liking it? Good, yay! I was just thinking we could make like a buffalo ranch too. That would be good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so guys. I'm not Italian, but, you know, I could go manja. You can just eat now. Now, see, I'm thinking I just want to do this one in squares. I don't want to really, um, I don't really want to cut it up pizza style. I'm just going to do it in strips. That way they can just dip them. All right, guys. Oh, Tammy, thank you. I'm going to be working on, on more videos. Um, Y'all just, there's a place on my page, Keto for Life for Real Life People. I can't ever say that. Post your ideas and I will work on it. Um, I just started this page this week. I just started doing videos this week. So I'm going to be trying to work like double time, trying to post videos for you guys, recipes for y'all. Um, the keto, oh, let's talk about the keto 90 day challenge. Um, I created the event and I think, I think what, you know, it starts January 1st and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run like one thread for that. I'm going to keep it pinned at the top so everybody can post. There'll be a, 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 a pin and it'll say uh, inside the thread. You'll open it up and it'll say post your starting weight. And then we'll do like our weekly weigh-ins. And then um, I'll do a, a thing, uh, another section where we can just, you know, have Q&A questions for support and stuff like that. But I think it'll be real fun. And I think um, next week I'm going to work on doing a video on getting ready for 2018 and what we need to start for the new year. You need a cookie recipe. Okay, Judy, I'll shoot you one. Your daughter cuts her pizza with kitchen shears. Wow, that's cool. You guys want to see what I always cut my pizza with? My girls know what. <laughs> You're ready for this knife. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Do you see how big this knife is? I use it for cutting pizzas. This is a regular chef's knife. This is the knife. <laughs> one time my, my son, I have one son. He has two older sisters and two younger sisters. One, side, one time when he was a kid, he took that knife and he tied it to his, uh, my daughter's stuffed cat. And then when my girls had gone to bed, I looked and I saw this cat crossing the hallway with a knife. He was under their bed pulling it into their room and it looked like a white stuffed cat coming to them with a knife. That one. <laughs> okay, guys. This has been real fun. I've enjoyed it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Could you do me a favor, though? Um, if you really liked this kitchen in the par party in the kitchen, would you do me a favor and would you share it? I'd like to get it out there. I, I want this to grow. I want it to go. So share it in your groups that you're in. Share it on Facebook. I would really appreciate it. Give me some thumbs up, some likes if you liked it. Um, you guys have been great. And for just showing up, I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Hey, Allie girl. That's my granddaughter. Love you. I love you too, sweet girl. So I'm going to wrap it up, y'all. It's been great. 
and uh, I look forward to doing more. I'll get some more things scheduled and po post them on the page, and you guys can just keep up. Look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye.